don't believe everything you read. The exploits you find in my comic are no more probable than snow in Sunnyvale. I'm not as black as you dream, but a body has to make a living, and I play the part better than any. I know the dangers of believing every shade of black you see. In this issue, there's a mendingo of a man, dark like olives, voice as deep as a desert valley in the dead of night. He smiles if he wants to bite your throat. Holds back his teeth with those bubblegum lips he can't help but lick, leaving the thinnest film of saliva on the surface. He's slick, and he's bold, and he's everything you imagine he should be. Sometimes you want to be him, want to see yourself in the silver gleam of his image, and other times you want to be wanted by him. Crave his brand of desire, his form of righteousness, bringing a little black to the world one motherfucker at a time. No matter how three-dimensional he seems, know that behind every jive turkey uttered, there is not a black mouth, but a white one. One that dictates who he calls nigger, to temper the perfect tone of black. This is the cruelest trick. Even now, I'm defined by the borders of my panels, the hue of sienna ink, an assembly of lines, a rendering of a man, splayed across your page.